Welcome to Family Health Today, Arkansas's only weekly in-depth look at the medical and health issues that affect you and your family. Brought to you by Jones Television, in cooperation with our sponsors, Northwest Arkansas Heart and Vascular Center and the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. With increasing economic troubles piled on to the stress of work and family demands, more and more Americans are suffering. In fact, 58% of Americans reported struggling in their lives at the end of 2008, according to the Gallup Healthways Wellbeing Index. Stress can take a physical toll on your body, but also a mental one. And May is Mental Health Month. Joining us now is Dr. Lance Foster, Chief Medical Officer at Ozark Guidance, a mental health provider for children, adults, and families. Welcome to the show, Dr. Foster. Thanks for being here with us tonight. Thank you for having me. Dr. Foster, tell us <clears throat> why is it so important about awareness for mental health? Well, basically, um, mental health touches all our lives, um, from, from small things to, to large. Um, we have uh, um, people that are isolated, people that lose work, mm -hmm. people that uh, lose families, that families suffer. and. Uh, we really want to uh, make people aware that there's help. How common is a mental health disorder here in Northwest Arkansas and in the United States overall as well? Well, I think you mentioned it earlier, mm -hmm. but about one in five people mm -hmm. will experience some sort of mental health issue this year. Um, about 30% or around 30% of um, Americans suffer from some sort of mental illness, whether it's substance abuse or other types of mental illness. Dr. Foster, define for us what is a mental health disorder? Um, well, when, when most people think about mental health problems or mm -hmm. mental illness, they think about people that, that hear voices or have racing thoughts or have severe depression, but that's really only a part of it. Um, there are small things in our lives that, that affect everyone, like um, sadness and uh, worries and sleep problems and things like that. And when these problems get to be an interference with our school or our work or our family, our relationships, then that may be a sign of, of a more serious problem going on and a need for treatment. Dr. Foster, what is this month's focus for mental health? This year's focus uh, for Mental Health Month is live life well. And, and basically what we're wanting people to do is, is to live their life well, to ask themselves, Am I living my life mm -hmm. well? Are there uh, mental health concerns or uh, uh, issues that are getting in the way of living my life well? I see. What would you say are some of the most common mental health disorders here that we see, that you see in your clinic, in your office, and are they treatable? Um, absolutely, they're treatable. Okay. We see a variety of things from depression, anxiety, um, problems with uh, behaviors at school, um, problems in work performance, uh, problems with substance abuse, uh, thought disorders, uh, mood disorders, and there are a number of treatments. We, we look at helping uh, uh, treat families as a whole. We want to be thinking about how does, uh, how does this illness affect people's lives? Can we, can we support them through their family, through, uh, through other resources? We want to um, look at individual therapy work, group work, um, we have treatment for uh, medications, a variety of mm -hmm. things that, that can really support a patient in a number of ways. So not just counseling, but medications and group therapy and a lot of support systems. And I, I There's take a it. lot of different things available, That's absolutely. Good. Okay, well, Dr. Foster, what would you say is some of the most common signs and symptoms that you would see in someone who is struggling from a mental health disorder? What should someone look for? Like, for example, a mother who has maybe a teenage son that starts acting weird or funny. Is there anything in particular that we should look for in, in a patient? Potential patient, I should say. Yeah, I think anytime we see major changes mm -hmm. in life, um, sometimes that's changes in school performance. Sometimes that's changes in sleep patterns or eating patterns. Um, sometimes that's isolating themselves. Um, anytime people are having trouble with their temper and lose their temper frequently and, and in severe ways or become aggressive frequently. Um, those type of changes in life out of the out of the ordinary eating changes are, are clues that maybe there's something more going on there that needs to be evaluated. And what does OGC or Ozark, Ozark Guidance Center specifically do to help a patient 
that's suffering from this? I know you mentioned earlier, you know, um, there's medications and there's counseling. Right. Is there anything in addition that is um, offered at the well, OGC Center? We definitely work with the community as, as a whole. I mean, part of being community mental health center mm -hmm. is um, um, educating the community and trying to um, support resources out there, whether it be physicians' offices or other types of clinics, uh, churches, schools. Um, we have therapists in schools that, that support the schools and support individuals in the schools. Um, we have different clinics around to, uh, for people to be seen in. Um, sometimes we're um, meeting with those clinicians to support them and to educate them or to answer hard questions. Other times we're actually working in the office with folks. So there's a lot of valuable, priceless resources out there, would you say, especially in school, you know, for a child to be able to have a counselor, you know, if they're undergoing a stressor at home or in school or with, you know, a peer pressure or bullying, there's always someone there uh, as a counselor, and they're from OGC that is specifically assigned to go to the schools. Is that how it works? Yeah, many, many of our schools in, in uh, the, the four county areas have therapists that are actually there, that are like guidance employees that are actually working in the school. That's it. Tell us about this new health unit, mental health unit that's going on. Over at Northwest. It's a, it's a um, 28 bed unit that um, opened this past week, and we're, we've been working on it for um, seven years plus now. Um, to try to get this uh, going. Um, it's had a lot of help from the hospitals in the area, um, Washington Regional as well as Northwest and, and uh, Mercy and some of the other hospitals around that have uh, supported this. We've had state funding. As you can see, the governor came to the opening yeah. as well. Dr. Holloman there is the medical director of the unit. He's a uh, well-known psychiatrist in, in these parts and has done a lot of work to um, uh, support uh, mental health and uh, the mentally ill for a number of years, so we're really happy to be working with him. We've also had folks like uh, David Williams, who is um, now working for the university, who is uh, one of the main players in this, um, but also was our CEO for a number of years, who's been uh, working diligently for this. Dr. Foster, do you think that people are getting the help that they need, you know, if they potentially have a mental health disorder? Because there's a stigma out there, and sometimes that defers people to not go and get help rather than... Uh getting what they need? Well, I, no, I think a lot of people do stay away because they, they don't mm -hmm. understand um, what's, uh, what's available. They sometimes feel embarrassed about uh, feeling that they're weak in some way. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of uh, bad press out there that uh, really puts people in, um, with mental illness in a bad light. Uh, people think, as I said earlier, of the, of the worst rather than um, these are problems that, that so many people are dealing with. Right. How is OGC helping to raise awareness of, of uh, mental health, Dr. Foster? Um, well, this month we're um, uh, celebrating May as Mental Health mm -hmm. Month. Uh, that's being done in a number of ways. There is There was a, a, a family festival at the uh, mall on the uh, first Saturday of the month, I believe, that was uh, sponsored by the Children's Safety Center that we took part in. Okay. Um, the 18th, we have uh, packed the park with the naturals. Uh, to support mental health and to uh, get some funding sources there to support folks in the area. And then uh, the, the 29th of this month is a, a butterfly release, which is another uh, fundraising to support folks with, uh, with mental illness and the education of uh, the community. Excellent. Dr. Foster, are there any tips you have for us on how to live our lives well? Um, I think slow down is one of the big ones. Uh, we, uh, we know that uh, stress makes uh, physical problems as well as uh, mental health problems worse. Um, sleep, um, exercise, talk, um, and uh, uh, be with family, develop community, find ways of being in community. Those are all things that, that make a big difference. Sounds good. Well, Dr. Foster, where can someone go to get more information about OGC? Is there a website that's available? There is a website. <clears throat> it's uh, www.ozarkguidance.org. Uh -huh. And uh, the phone number is 750-2020. Uh, all right. Well, Dr. Foster, thank you so much for being here tonight. We appreciate you. all you do in our community. Thank you. Thank you for all having right. me. All right. Family Health Today will be right back. Getting fit, eating right, and staying up on the latest health news. They're good habits that can help you look and feel your best. You can get the details on the top health and medical stories every week in the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, the state's largest newspaper. 
take a more hands-on approach to good health and pick up some good habits, like the Arkansas Democrat Gazette.